Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are on another edition of Hungry Kayak Reviews. I am obviously not on a beach today. Uh, I am at the Ontario Place, Ontario Place uh, by the Cinesphere, as you can see in the back. Uh, I decided to do another review from the kayak today. I'm going to see if I can get better. Uh, special shuttle today. Today is the last day of the Ukrainian festival in Bloor West Village. So I live around there and every year they have this huge, huge festival. I'm wearing a shirt today, uh, and it is, uh, it's a pretty nice festival. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest uh, Ukrainian festival in all of North America. I don't know how many Ukrainian festivals there are, but it's the biggest one. Uh, unfortunately, it has uh, been degraded down to the size of when it, the second year it was out in a parking lot. Uh, that is due to COVID. But today, we are going to be doing a, um, a review of a quesadilla. Um, but we have a rower around there. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, review of a quesadilla from Sunnyside Cafe. It retails for $16.50. It sounds kind of pricey, but I've been there before and it tastes pretty good. So I'm going to see how it tastes like in the kayak. So I bought, uh, so it's not, obviously it's not open right now. It is uh, closed because it's 7.10 a.m. on Sunday morning, September 19th. Um, so I picked it up yesterday. It was a pretty nice day outside. Um, so I decided to put it in the crisper <laughs> in my refrigerator. So I'm decided to, uh, to warm it up today to uh, melt the cheese so I can uh, actually open it up today. Uh, as opposed to what happened with my poutine food review. I've never eaten poutine that, <laughs> that cold before. Uh, I've had it uh, the day, day before, but I've always forgotten to put it in the fridge. Usually when you get the poutine late at night, you're usually clubbing, <laughs> dancing uh, with your buddies, getting a little bit of liquid courage going up, doing the uh, white man's overbite, you know. And uh, anyways, uh, good times. But um, today we're going to be doing the quesadilla. Everything is uh, warmed up. Nope, it is back to cold again. So I'm making the same... Too bad I don't have an oven in the kayak. Anyways, I will show you how it looks like really quick. I don't know if you can see all that. It comes with the sour cream, the guac, the salsa, and it also comes with the quesadilla. It comes with four different uh, quesadillas, not different. Uh, each one is, let's see if, one second, I didn't turn that off, all right. Let's see if I can open this up a little bit. Anyways, it comes with cheese, chicken, black bean, I don't know if I can open that up or not. One second, I'm gonna pause this video for a minute. I just figured out how to pause, <laughs> I'm really excited. And guess what, there is also corn in there. I will see if I can get a better shot of it. So there it is. It actually looks really good right now too. So, okay, hold that for a bit. So today I'm gonna try putting a little salsa salsa on it, a little sour cream, a little guac. I already had one already yet, last yesterday. It looks too good. I wanted to eat one fresh. So I'll put some guac on there. We'll put some salsa on there. It's kind of, I hope I don't get anything in the kayak. It's a little bit more difficult, to, especially the sour cream when it gets in the crevices. Not that I've ever done this before. All right. That is old sour cream. So we'll see. <laughs> Whoa. Almost lost all all those condiments and everything's all coming off so not the best thing to be doing a review oh a little sour cream so we'll show you how that looks like right now it's a little messy ah, there it is actually a little bit of embroidery there too got a little mud on my slick jacket that was from uh, last week all right so that is how that looks like all right so let's uh give this a quick try and the Cinder Spear back there. So I guess this kayak will be turning around while I'm eating, which is all right.
also helps on my really good mood today. I had a really good weekend. Friday night, came home from work. Um, got online, played some uh, Dungeons and Dragons with my family online. They're back in Kingston, um, which is amazing times. And then on Saturday morning, I woke up really early. Uh, went up to uh, Markham, Ontario, and flew some modern model airplanes with my uh, with one of my friends who owns uh, a few model airplanes and uh, gas powered, radio controlled airplanes. Never seen it before in real life. It was pretty incredible, and uh, yeah, that was really good. Came back, had some food, just uh, kind of chilled out for the rest of the evening, and got up in the morning today, uh, really early before the sunrise in Toronto. Uh, went for a little bit of a kayak to Ontario Place, obviously, and decided to do a little bit of a food review. And later on, after the kayak, I'm going to go for a group hike through uh, right beside Humber Humber River. Um, a lot of out outdoor time this weekend. It's the uh, last weekend uh, of summer and I am trying to get the most of it and it is absolutely incredible. Um, and then after that uh, I might go out and uh, grab a couple uh, beers, go out in the backyard, practice my golf swing and then uh, kind of chill out watching some TV before uh, I'm playing some video games before uh, before work tomorrow. Back to the uh, back to the grind as they say. All right, anyways, uh, so I've eaten a couple uh, bites of this uh, quesadilla, and I will have to say that it is better when you're actually at the restaurant. Uh, Sunnyside Cafe is right on the water in Ontario Place. It's at Sunnyside Beach. And it is a, it's, it's a beautiful place to be in the summer. Everybody's out there, a lot of families, uh, a lot of music being pumped, being pumped out there. Uh, a little bit of dancing, little volleyball, people throwing the football, a little bit of swimming. And you're in, in uh, just, uh, just off of uh, about, uh, 20 minute drive away from uh, downtown Toronto. A lot of people come out there and hang out there in the summer. Uh, I'm a big fan of skipping rocks, <laughs> which is really boring, uh, but I, I, I quite enjoy it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice place. I would definitely recommend it, uh, especially if you if it's a hot sunny day, getting a couple, a couple of these quesadillas and uh, a couple of beers uh, going on with your friends, family. It's always, always, always a good time over there. Uh, but for the quesadilla, when it's warm on in, in your patio, as I've already experienced this, I'm going to give this thing a 4.8 out of 5 for the price and the uh, quantity of it. It's only four quesadillas, but they pack on the cheese in there. Holy cheese, do they pack the cheese in there. It is delicious. It's the perfect amount of cheese for a quesadilla. Um, so 4.5 out of 5, $16.50 for it at Sunnyside Cafe. And I am definitely going to give this a 100%. Mmm, yeah. Oh, it was so good. Um, anyways, you guys have a lovely uh, rest of the weekend, uh, and uh, we'll see you soon. I will be out in the kayak uh, next week. I'm going on a group kayak uh, with a whole bunch of people, so I'll probably do maybe one or two food reviews on that kayak uh, ride. Uh, but it's a beautiful day in Toronto, beautiful weekend, perfect temperature. It was like 16 degrees today, um, or 15 degrees in the morning. Uh, I have a friend of mine in Brazil who would think that I should be, <laughs> I should be wrapped up in... Uh, in uh, what's called cold weather gear, a toque and, and a jacket. It's, uh, that's Brazil, but over here, this is a t-shirt and short weather still, still in the sandals. I will say that the water on the lake in September is absolutely warm. It's warmer than the pool at my condo, uh, which reminds me, I should probably go for a swim as well. Maybe I'll do that after work tomorrow. Oh, also, by the way, tomorrow is September, what, September 20th. Yeah, for all the Canadians out there, it is uh, election, federal election day. Go out and vote, cast your vote, make, uh, make your voice heard. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and uh, we will talk to you, uh, I guess, next week. All right, bye.